Hey guys and welcome to Skilllink. We've all had that one toy that either broke when we were a kid or has lasted a lifetime. We've all dropped a piece of glass or a steel tumbler that either broke or survived the fall. So what are the factors that determine whether a particular material breaks or not? In today's episode, we are going to discuss what's called the strength of materials. The strength of a material is its ability to withstand forces acting on it without deforming or breaking. The force acting on a body is either called a load or a stress and there are two kinds of loads that can be applied. If the load is acting along the axis of the body then it's called a normal force or axial load and if it is acting perpendicular to the axis of the body then it's called as a shear force or a radial load. Now that we've taken a look at the two types of loads that can be applied on a body let's take a look at different types of materials as well. There are two types. One is a deformable material and the other is a rigid material. While a deformable material is like this slime, like this blob of slime, you can actually stretch it, you can pull it, you can you can make it a, make it into a ball, you can twist it, you can do whatever you want with it, and nothing ever seems to happen to it. Well, this plastic scale might might seem like a rigid body. It's actually not. A rigid body is a very very theoretical concept in which nothing ever happens to it. No matter how much load you apply on it it never gets deformed but this plastic scale even though it seems like a rigid body does get deformed but after a point it will snap into two pieces and because the scale snaps into two without much of deformation it's called a brittle material and this blob of slime is called a ductile material because it is very very malleable now that we've taken a look at brittleness and ductility let's take a look at elasticity and tensile strength as well if i take this piece of marshmallow and if i gently stretch it like this and leave it it takes its original shape back and if i gently press it and leave it it again takes its original shape back and as long as it's able to take its original shape back it's called an elastic body now if the two forces when i stretch it if the two forces act against each other then it's called a tensile force and if the two forces act towards each other it's called a compressive force now if i continue to keep pulling it apart then after a point it will start getting deformed and it will snap and when it snaps the ultimate tensile strength of the body is supposed to have reached testing the strength of materials is an essential part of science and engineering it allows us to drop our phones as many times as we want and still not regret it so until the next time stay tuned to skill link